Hi everybody, it's Julie Pritchard, blog update number two. I don't have any new art to show you. Let me tell you why. I, um, I don't like to talk about this until after it's finished, but I set a, 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 a goal at the beginning of the year and I, uh, as far as painting goes, and I have been working very hard all year to achieve that goal. And I don't like to, I feel like I might jinx myself if I say the goal, but I'll, I'll tell you it soon. Um, I'm almost done with the goal. It's been really rigorous. Um, I'm not the type of artist that uh, cranks out numerous paintings in a week or in a day even. Um, a lot of my paintings take over a week. Some could take over a couple of weeks because I will um, apply some, maybe some textural uh, products that take a long time to dry or uh, finish something, go back and stare at it for a long time, let it resonate and then, you know, see where I need to proceed from there. So uh, whatever process works, works. It works for me. So that's what I do. So in the meantime, I'm most happy making stuff. I'm making paintings, baking, gardening, crafting, and now sewing. Um, I bought a beautiful new sewing machine called a Memory Craft 9900 made by Janome, and I met a fantastic group of people at the sewing store and fabric store awesome in the area here in San Diego where I purchased the machine. And we meet twice a month. Uh, when you when you purchase a machine, they give you access to this club. That even if you didn't purchase your machine there, you can purchase the club dates. Um, but it comes with the machine. So I'm kind of like how I went at painting when I first um, met Chris Cozen was because I I sat down and I decided I'm the, the way that I my process is is not try it and see what comes out and see what you can do. My process is to learn everything that I can about what I'm doing and then do it. So with the paintings, I needed to know about opacity, translucency. I needed to know how all the products worked. I need to know about layering and that's just how I learn. Um, maybe that's my science background or, or whatever. But um, so I, instead of coming home and continuing with gorilla sewing, I have, I am forcing myself, even though the projects may not be what I want to be doing with machine. I'm forcing myself to learn everything there is about the machine because then I can take that knowledge and adapt it to suit my own needs. So don't get me wrong, I did march into the sewing machine place with paintings, canvas, and other non-traditional, you know, I'm sure I got like a crooked glance from maybe some of the more seasoned sewers, but I walked in there with some non-traditional applications of which I would be using the machine to things that I used my machine for previously that my other machine broke down um, and I made the rep help me understand how the machine would work with these materials and everything worked fine so in the future I think what I really want to do is um, get this incorporated into my art but right now I'm more or less just learning the basics of sewing Again, I understand sewing. I'm just not very good at it. I want to be great at it. So what I have done is uh, the first assignment was um, for the new owners is to make the stitch book. So I made this little book, didn't measure, didn't do anything. All Basically what I did was sew fabric together and um, do all the stitches that, that come with the machine so that I could use that as a reference. And um, I can make a little squirrel on it because my machine combines a, an embroidery feature. Um, I also am really super interested in quilting. I know, right? Specifically patchwork quilts. I don't want wedding rings. I don't want all this cut corners and stuff. I don't like cutting fabric. I like, <laughs> I like to buy fabric pre-cut and sew together. So I have some um, quilt tops that I'm working on. This I actually sewed twice. I had this on a blog a long time ago. The first one came out small and uh, I wasn't happy with the quality of the sewing even though I was, you know, doing everything I thought I was right. Uh, it turns out I had to order a special foot for the machine um, that that's going to help me uh, finish the quilt quicker. Um, but uh, another problem I'm having is I keep getting sucked into these fabric websites. Oh my god, my head is going to explode. Here's another one I made. Why am I making these? I don't know. I'm just making them to pretty much stay cozy. Maybe they could be presents. 
Um, so then I went to the sewing club, so then I went to the sewing club and they said, oh, I just repeated myself, I'm a parrot. So then I went to the sewing club and I, they told me, you have to come to the embroidery club too. And I said, oh, uh, I didn't really know if I would be using the embroidery feature on the machine that much. Stupid, I know, because it costs a fortune. I went there and I saw the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life that I didn't even know the machine can do. Let me show you. You buy discs like this and download them into the machine and you can make things like this. How cute is this stuffed animal thing? And this is another one. Oh my goodness, and oh, cause then I couldn't stop. I made some rabbits. Here's some little bunnies, little bunny Foo Foo and his pal. And I used Minky on the back, which I didn't know what Minky was, just that soft stuff. And let me tell you, uh, it is really soft and lovely. So now I have the farm friends, but I'm gonna show you this. They, the stitching is amazing. It's amazing to me. And I, I can write my daughter's name and stuff on the back. Do, 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 do. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I've been growing artistically. It's all part of the master plan. Well, how does that help you? I don't know, but it's helping me. It's helping me because I may not want to paint right now, but that's what you have to understand about creativity and something that I think a lot of people don't grasp as an artist. Don't beat yourself up if you want to be a painter. We'll talk about labels another day. It's a whole other thing. And if you don't paint every day. I don't paint every day. I'm, it, it, I don't think it's necessary. I think the key here that I want to share with everybody, because I hear this a lot in the teaching network, don't beat yourself up if you're not painting every day. You are still an artist. Just do something creative, no matter what it was. No matter what it is. Be creative. Cooking is creative. Gardening is creative. Everything is creative. Just don't feel the need to fit into some predetermined mold about what people are, what you're reading about or what people are telling you is creative. Do whatever you want. So. Growing artistically, I am sewing this week. I have a lot of animals. I made, I want, you know what, a goal, I really want to make shirts and stuff. That would be so rad. Can you imagine? Goodbye, anthropology. I don't even shop at anthropology to begin with because things are a lot of money, but uh, I'd like to piece together random bits of fabric and make tops that don't expose me when I'm walking down the street. That's my goal. Great goal, attainable. Uh, something that I wanted to share with everybody now through the end of the month, now through September 30th, I'm offering $10 off every single online workshop that is in my teaching network, and there's a lot of them. Learn the basics if you're a basic, you get more advanced if you already got the basics under your belt. $10 off every workshop and September 30th. Um, you can pay for the workshop and I will refund you the $10, or please just use the contact feature on my website and I will refund you. Uh, your money promise only through the end of day September 30th please come over and take a look at what is going on there www.thelandoflostluggage.com uh, I will always answer your emails promptly and again thank you all for joining me on my YouTube channel I will see you again soon and uh, happy oh I, I've got a pile speaking of creativity I don't even know I've got a pile of glittered fake pumpkins and fall leaves and crap in the garage that I have to fashion into wreaths today. There you go. Growing artistically. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon.